Hi netizens, I am Richard Campogon. Welcome to today's video. Six months ago, I uploaded a video on how to solve limited originality of content or LOC. So this was my problem on my page that time. So now, ang dami na nag-ask ng questions about LOC. So most of them were responded from my YouTube, of course, and Facebook page. After the process, ilan sa kanila ay na-resolve na ang issue when it comes to LOC. Kagaya na lamang kay Liz Cherry sa kanyang page na Talbong Siman TV na kahapon lang ay wala ng issue sa page niya. At ang pinaka good news nito ay monetize na ang stream ads niya. Definitely dahil sa consistency, uniqueness, and positive impact of his content sa audience to have millions of views. At ang iba naman ay naghihintay pa rin ng good news. So, kapit lang. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and follow my Facebook page for more updates. Without further ado, let us begin. These are the following steps to resolve LOC. Pero bago yan, kung may LOC issue sa page nyo, you need to delete first your videos na nagkakos ng LOC. Definitely, you know kung anong videos ang may issue bago mo i-click ang request for review. How? Just go to First Creator Studio sa Chrome. Ito yung first step. And kindly click your page, then policy issues. Here, makikita mo if may issue ba ang page mo. Sa akin for now, wala na. Nasold na if meron kagaya ng page ko dati, ito ang makikita mo. Ikalawa, request for another review. As I said, bago kayo mag-request for review, dapat nakaremove na ang videos na naging cause ng LOC. Pero kung naklik mo na ang request for review, ito ang gagawin mo. Remove your videos na may issue. Yung videos na di mo sariling gawa, then keep on posting your original videos. Some cases, in a month, you will receive a message from Facebook that you are allowed to request for another review. Sa akin dati, 2 months yata yun. Ikatlo, post authentic and original content. Sa limited originality of content kasi, nagkaka-issue if you uploaded videos from other creators to your page o di kaya naman repurpose ang iyong content. Na-post na sa other page, then pinost mo ulit without further enhancement. You can post pero dapat may enhancement kang ginawa sa video like for editorialization. Pwede mong i-change ang background music, mag-add ng subtitles, mag-voice over, i-change ang speed ng video and such. These ways are effective pero dapat more enhancement talaga. Next, use music from Facebook Sound Collection. Dito talaga nagkaka-issue sa sound na ginamit mo kapag naka-license na ang isang music sa isang creator. Di na free gamitin yun, kagaya ng songs ni Justin Bieber, Adam Levine, Ed Sheeran, and such. Even local artists and singers. Be careful on using their music. Pero ang pinaka-safe na music na pwede mong gamitin ay ang sa Facebook Sound Collection. Same process lang. Go to Facebook Creator Studio. Then, i-click nyo ang page nyo. Then, sa left side, hanapin and i-click ang creative tool. Makikita nyo sa baba ang sound collection. You can choose whatever genre and music na you think relevant sa video nyo. And, ang ating panghuli, keep on posting your original videos. Kapag mas malawak na ang na-reach or engagement ng video mo, mas malawak ang chance na mamadali ang pag-remove ng issue sa page mo kagaya ng kay Kalbong Siman TV. Dahil napakalawak ng engagement, Millions ang views, pinag-uusapan ng audience, mas madaling na-resolve ang LOC niya. So, Facebook will notify you for your page. Magme-message siya if pwede ka nang mag-request for another review. O wala nang issue sa page niyo and pwede mo nang iset up ang star section, stream ads, and such. So, ganun lang. Just wait and take your time to make original videos again. And always follow Facebook policies. And that's it. I am hoping that sana this video will help you. For more upcoming videos like this content, don't forget to subscribe my channel and follow my Facebook page. So once again, I am Richard Campogun, signing off.